looking ahead to this week, what stands out about uh, UTEP's defense? Man, those guys play really hard. They got an aggressive style of defense. They're obviously playing with a lot of confidence right now. And um, they got some good players at all three levels of the defense. So they're going to pose a, a really good challenge. And, and we're looking forward to it. Thanks, man. Good luck. Thanks, Ron. Let's go, uh, Bob, and then Will. Or, Will, you can go ahead and go. Hey, Tim, having gone so long in between coaching actual games, what was it like for you being able to actually coach in a game? Man, that was awesome. That was the coolest thing ever. It was hard not to get emotional when, like, the national anthem was playing. And when the rain delay was going on, I was like, man, can we get a game going right now? Like if this game gets delayed, I don't know what I'm going to do. Um, so I, yeah, it was really cool. Very emotional just to be able to be out there and be a part of that. And uh, uh, to be, you know, a Boise state Bronco and represent what is a very important brand and just feeling very fortunate. Uh, obviously wish we would have came out with a W, but like I said, I think there were some good things there we could build on, but that was definitely fun to be back on the football field. I know Andy said post game that Khalil was on a, a snap count for you guys, but in the plays that he did play, what did you think of his performance? Man, he's unbelievable, isn't he? I mean, just like, holy smokes. Uh, I think he played 20 snaps, and I think he touched the ball eight of the 20 snaps. And if you count the run, I think he had over 100 yards. I mean, and two touchdowns. So, uh, yeah, he's he's tremendous. And, like, you know, the fact that we could use him was great. And yeah, not having him on a full schedule, not having George, not having Kakani. I mean, Garrett's bang. I mean, you can, you can, we can list all these things and it can become excuses, but everyone's bang. Everyone's banged up. We got to find a way to get more guys going. And early on, we got a lot of guys, the ball, and that was really good to see that we have other guys that can do it. But I mean, when that guy's healthy and playing a lot, obviously he's going to get the ball a lot. And when he does, that's the best thing for us. That guy's a heck of a player. The hype is real. Thanks Tim. Thanks, Will. Paul Jay, do you have a question? Coach, uh, what's the uh, attitude of, of your offensive players? And is there anyone else that you can kind of share the uh, Shaq type plays with? Is there anybody else on the team that can do them? Maybe not as well, but do them? The attitude of our offense, I mean, I think it I think it starts with us. Uh, you know, we're, we're an attack minded team. We're an attack minded offense. We're a, a group that, you know, seeks joy every day and what we're trying to do. And, um, you know, I think we have fun out there and execute at a high level. We want to be precise um, and understanding situational football, um, finishing in the red zone, which we did a good job of in the last game. So I think that's the attitude of the offense. And then. Uh, you know, every player is unique. Is there another Shaq? No. I mean, there's he's a one-of-a-kind player. But, you know, we do have talented guys that can do those things. I think CT can do those things. Um, I think Steph Cobbs can do those things. Um, and, I, and I think we got another list of guys in the running back. I think George can do those things. And, you know, I think we got plenty of guys that can do those things. But can anyone do it like Shaq? No. But then that's what makes everybody unique. You know, maybe CT can't do it like Shaq, but no one can do it like CT either. Everyone's going to be unique to their to their strengths. Um, so, uh, but to answer your question, I would say no one can do it like Shaq, but we have people that can do those plays and be successful with it. Yeah. 